I am out here in the lawn. You can see the grass behind me, and one of the other things that you can see are grass clippings. You may be asking yourself, what am I doing? Well, one of the things that I am doing is I'm preparing to overseed my lawn, and that means I want optimal seed to soil contact. So back here, you can see that there's a lot of live growth. Live growth, I'm perfectly fine with. But if we get down all the way to the grass level, and we take a look, let's just get down in here. That, my friends, is soil. And what's there in between that is dead matter. So this dead matter is not doing anything. And more than likely, if there's a large buildup of it, it's gonna become between my seed and the soil, which means I'm gonna get poor or irregular germination. So I'm going through and I'm raking out that dead matter. And that made me think a lot about what I've learned about the lawn over the last, hmm, I've been here, it's coming up on 10 years. And normally, if you're from the Midwest, you know that you need seed and earth to grow a beautiful, fantastic lawn. Believe it or not, the average soil temperatures in the Midwest are optimal for growing grass during the growing season. And you really don't have too much rain. You've got a really long days. I mean, it's, it's nice. In the South, coincidentally, you have two great periods when you can grow grass. Now, I'm in the transition zone, which kind of works across from where I'm at in North Carolina, works across into middle of Missouri, into Kansas, okay? So that's how you know if you're in the northern grass zone. Now in a transition zone, we have two good periods of growth and they're about a month and a half long in the fall and in the spring. And both of those periods in between there, you've got heat stress and you've got cold stress. Cold season grasses like ground temperatures not air temperatures, soil temperatures, between 39 degrees Fahrenheit, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're north of 79 degrees, heat stress, things start to go dormant. If you're south of 39 degrees, heat stress, not heat stress, cold stress, things start to go dormant. So our optimal growing range is almost never long enough. We just have these short bursts or short periods where grass can actually get going. So now we're in one of those periods. We've had a couple weeks, two to be exact, where we're starting to get into those soil temperatures. So I'm preparing my seed bed. There's a couple things that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rake out all of the um, dead uh, inert matter that's there, clear that out so I get optimal uh, water. I'm gonna get my fertilizer down to the soil level. I'm gonna do my micronutrients. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that things are as uh, optimal as they can be. One of the other things that I'm gonna do, a lot of people in the South put down um, calcium carbonate because they're concerned about the acidity of the soil. I did a soil test. Turns out my soil's not acidic, it's basic. So I'm gonna be putting down a soil amendment to hopefully remedy that. Now again, cool season grasses, love it somewhere between 6.9 and seven on the pH scale. So that's what I'm gonna be working to get towards uh, instead of the seven point I think it was 7.5 or something like that on a pH scale. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing all of those things to really get this prepped up and ready to go. Germination times with a tall turf type fescue, which I'm actually gonna use, uh, in my experience, are three to seven days. If you get really good soil to seed contact, which I think is super important, you're gonna expedite that process. Now, I've almost gotten to the point where I don't think I'm gonna aerate some of these areas that were a little bit more thin, like over here, I've already overseeded. I already have uh, plants that are germinated that are at the two leaf stage. Some are at the three leaf stage. They're doing well. I've got my sprinkler back here, which is on a timer. I'm running it uh, 15 minutes, eh, 10, I think 10 minutes, four times a day for 40 minutes total. And that's really important too, that when you put down the seed that you keep it moist. You don't, it's not gonna germinate Okay, if it's not moist, it needs correct temperatures, needs enough heat, and needs enough moisture to germinate. So there are some quick thoughts about what I'm doing on the lawn. Hopefully you are getting your fall 
prep ready, whether that means you're feeding your lawn, overfeed that thing as you go into winter so that it come roaring back to life in the spring. Love talking about the lawn. Hope you guys have a great day. See ya.